hopefully you having a great weekend and go ahead and subscribe and donate to my channel if you want to don't forget to um, go over to Facebook and Twitter I'm over there too so anyway I want to do a shout out to L-A-D-Y-N-E-F-E-R-T-I-T-I-B-K because she lost some of her subscribers she's trying to subscribe back to me she's starting over can you go over there and just kind of um, pat her on the back and say hey um, I'm sorry about this because that's what I did and I you know encouraged her so I thought I would come to you guys and tell you guys to go encourage her but anyway shout out to you don't give up and go check out her channel you guys but anyway here's what you need for this meal you need some garlic I used a teaspoon you're gonna need some olive oil to go with the turkey meatballs that I made and here is the ground turkey I took this ground turkey and I molded it into a ball and I fried I mean um yeah I put them in the skillet with the olive oil I only took like maybe two or three teaspoons and cooked them and also I cut a half of onion I put it in the blender over there and then I took some bell pepper I cut them up and washed them and everything and put it in the blender and also I took some romaine lettuce I cut it up and I put it in the blender and I took some elbow macaroni, some, uh, macaroni. I used the whole box I boiled it I rinsed it and then I boiled it again to make sure that there's no starch on it so after this gets really really soft you pour the water off and then you're ready to go now you're also going to need some tomatoes just some, some uh, classico family traditional tomato paste i mean pasta sauce sorry um now you don't put this in there together what you do is you put some little water in there and let it grind I don't know why. I think it's because it needs a little water. Um, now, um, I'm putting a little water in here and then I'm moving it around because it's not doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to put this back on here and grind it. Up. with the meatballs and, and and you add your tomato uh, your pasta sauce at this point now I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this in here because I am in love with this dish and I'm also gonna put some more pasta sauce just to show you how it looks I put about six ounces in this mixture and you cook this on low you can add cheese at this point. You can add whatever you want, but you want all these meatballs to be mixed together and you want the green and the red to, to mix in together. Okay, now what you do is you take a plate. Oh, also, I want you to know that I put onion off in the uh, blender as well. I put onion in there too. Onion was already in there. Okay, so it's onion in this mixture, bell pepper, and lettuce. So it's like you're having your salad and pasta in your sauce. Instead of on the side like you usually do, you have your, your pasta and your pasta sauce and then you have your salad. You're not, it's the same thing but only I put it into the meat, in the meat mixture. Okay. So now what you do is you take a plate, just like this, and you start with either rice, you can put rice on this plate, or pasta. I chose pasta, 
This has been sitting a while, so that's the reason why it's sticking together. But you just put pasta all the way around like this. And then next, you take this and put some on. Just like that. You can add cheese at this point, like I said, or you can add whatever you want. Now, you can use other meat if you want to. You don't have to use what I use, which is the, uh, and as you see, see, there's the bell pepper. That's just a good decoration there. <laughs> it didn't blend all the way on the uh, bell pepper. That's the reason why that was in there. But that's okay. I just gave it a look, and I'm going to taste it. Mmm. It is so good. Mmm. I got a meatball. Bon appetit. Bye.